Hey guys, look, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown on the welder of life and how I've made money at welding. Um, what I got going on in the shop today is literally third generation welder. My dad was a welder. Um, I was a welder and now both of my boys are in here welding today and they're making pretty damn good money. So based on the fact that my boys have become welders, um, this is their job. They're here at Welder Up today because <laughs> if they weren't here, they'd be outside welding in the, in the atmosphere today, which, you know, whatever. Uh, my kids are 20 and 21. You know, I want them to get going. I want them to, to learn. This is their job. It's not my job. Um, Chase picked this job up on his own. He does a lot of these, um, welding a lot of heavy equipment for guys. You know, down here in Vegas, you know, these big heavy pieces of equipment, trenchers, scrapers, dozers, trenchers, I mean, you name it. They're under a lot of pressure all day. You got a big, big cat motor in there just ripping all day. Well, those parts that are going down on the ground are continuously needing to be hard faced. You're ripping teeth off. You got to re-weld it back onto a dozer bucket, a track hoe bucket. These guys are making 150 bucks an hour with their own rig out there welding this stuff together for these guys. So Chase is kind of getting into it. Cash is starting to get into it. Um, and then if you add on to it, both of them are mechanics. So mechanically, they can go weld and mechanic on something, which almost pays double. Um, I think these guys welded in here yesterday for about five hours and each of them made about 420 bucks in, in five hours. That's pretty good. They're gonna make 2,500 bucks each this week each. $2,500 in what they're welding. And they're, it's all on their own. Um, I'm just, I think it's really cool. It's a great trade. I'm just saying the generation that's coming up, this job is available because people don't want to do it. It's an available job. Um, that's why I want to teach this skill because I think there's so many guys out there and, and young guys that can make a living at it. So. Let's go inside and check these guys out real quick, see what they're doing. Okay, so here we are in the shop. And um, you know, for years, way before I did any TV, before I did Vegas Frat Rods, this was my life, was uh, welding, portable welding. Um, and I did lots of production work. And it made me a lot of money. Um, you know, it's pretty cool actually to see both my kids in here today making good money on their own. I didn't, this is not, has anything to do with Welder Up. This is on their own, they, they're doing their own thing and they're hard facing some pieces. Um, I think each one of these pieces is probably got to be right around an hour and a half to two hours of welding. Um, multiple passes, it's hard facing. And what they're doing is they're just building up a wear plate. So instead of taking the brand new piece and putting it in the machine and where it wears out really fast, they're hard facing it, which will make this piece last maybe five times as long as if it was just the factory piece. So a lot of times when these guys get these wear plates for these machines, they bring them in and they, they have a guy hard face and weld them. And that goes with a lot of the, the buckets on like dozers and loaders. You'll see all the cross hatches in it where they've welded. Well, that's just hard facing to keep from wearing the bucket out. Anyway, we'll check these guys out. I like being a welder because I grew up with my dad watching him weld and he welded for like 12, 15 hours a day and you know that paid for our dirt bikes, paid for our horses, paid for our cows, paid for everything we used to do, all the racing we used to do and you know I feel like it's a good way to make some money and provide a family honestly that's what I'm hoping I can do with it and I had a lot of fun growing up so I'm hoping I can do the same for my kids. You make great money at it honestly you know if you're in a good establishment like this you can charge 60 to 75 bucks an hour if you got a truck set up like that, name your price, honestly. It can only go up from there. So I do a little bit of both. I'm a mechanic and I weld, but at the end of the day, I like welding a little bit more just because at the end of the day, I feel like I've accomplished something. I, I feel like a man for doing it. It's, it's tough work and it takes a little bit of skill and make good money at it. I feel like I've accomplished everything. As a kid, I was inspired to weld because I loved to burn things. I was a pyro. And watching my dad burn metal together, I was in awe. So I just started 
picked up a welder one day, started sticking scrap metal together, and called myself a welder. And then it evolved into actually being structural with it, starting to make money with it. And I mean, once you can weld, everyone's your friend. And I mean, I'm only breaking something, so it comes in handy to start welding it back together or fixing it. And the money doesn't hurt. So in my years as having a profession, um, I was a diesel mechanic, I was a welder, and I am now a heavy equipment operator. And I much rather weld the heavy equipment than operate it. It pays about three times as much, and it's way more relaxing, way more entertaining. It's a pretty cool opportunity that I get to come to Welder Up and sit in here and weld with my brother and my dad. We can all do something we enjoy to do and make money out of it at the same time. It's awesome. And so if you ever thought about maybe being a welder, but you didn't know if you had it in you or not, I mean, Chase can do it. So anybody can do it. Can you draw a straight line? Yeah. Then you can weigh a welder. Yeah. Can you use a tape measure? Then you can be a welder. Can you count to 10? Then you can be a welder. You don't need to be able to read or write, that doesn't matter. You know, really at the end of the day, it's like, it's really, it's really something to be proud of, to see, you know, three generations right here of welding. So my dad passed it down to me and then, you know, now my kids are doing it. And to see them in here actually like putting in a man's day of work at 20 years old, it makes me proud. There's a lot of 20 year old kids out there that don't have a direction. They don't know where they're going. They didn't have what they had with me. I was more equipped with the welding stuff. I learned from my dad, so it's passed down. But my dad learned pretty much on his own. So it has to start somewhere. So people that are watching this, that want to get into this trade, that want to feel accomplished, that want to feel like you can create and build, you know, you never know where you're going to take it. Uh, the course that we're doing could inspire someone to do something super great. You never know. It might inspire them to be an engineer that creates high rise buildings, something that could be the next um, seven wonders of the world. I don't know. But if you look back at all of those, they all pretty much had welding in them. I mean, our world is revolved around welding. And, um, you know, like I said, as a father to come in here and these kids are on their own. I'm not really in here, you know, pushing them, telling them what to do. They're making their own money. You know, when you're making that kind of money, you are inspired to work hard for yourself. And that's what this is all about. I mean, there's an opportunity for you to come in here and make $100,000 and $150,000 a year welding. Um, if you really work hard at it and you wanna put yourself in that area and, and feel like you've accomplished something, when you go home at night and you lay in your bed, your feet are pounding from walking on them 15 hours a day, 10 hours a day, carrying some hard iron, some metal, something heavy. Your feet are pounding, your legs hurt. And when you lay there and you look at the scars and the marks on your body from the years that you've put in, that is something to be proud of. I don't care what you say. That is something to be proud of. And, you know, I look at the, the, the wounds, the burns, the cuts, the scrapes that I've gone through over the last 30 years, 35 years of welding, and I'm proud of every one of them. I've got stitches in my head. I've got cuts on my arms. I've got burn marks so deep in my forearms that they'll never go away. But that's something to be proud of. Those are part of living life and feeling accomplished and being a man. And um, I wouldn't have it any other way. I've made good money at it, and I'm proud to be here. And that's just what it is.